Hi, welcome to Popeye's House of Pain. I'm Popeye. I want to talk about a little bit of an issue I've been watching for probably about a year or so now. Actually, it's been a little bit longer. The, there's been this brewing issue over the people called illegal aliens and whether or not they should be allowed to cross an imaginary line in the dirt and all kinds of roar as to who's considered illegal and how they're considered illegal and all this other stuff but I think that there should be another question that should be asked before any of that it might be kind of stupid and a lot of people told me so I've asked some of this called a fucking idiot a lot for asking the question, well, what's a citizen? Simple question. Be amazed at how many people don't actually know the answer to that question. Do you know the answer to that question without actually looking it up? The actual true legal definition? Because formal English may matter out in the streets, kind of, but does it really? Because at all times, you ought to know what the legal definition is. It's the thought. Laura v. U.S., Black's Law and several other places, several other cases, it's ruled that a citizen is a member of a body politic with the duty of allegiance in exchange for consideration for duty of protection. And the reason being is because the basic concept of government is that the government is created in order to protect and maintain the rights of you. The individual, me, my neighbors, friends and family. But would it change any of that if there was no duty of protection? Would it matter that you're actually being threatened with being put in a cage and or killed if you don't pay for this duty of protection? Would that change the definition of a citizen? Or would it just change whether or not you are a citizen? Something to consider before we start to talk about whether or not there's an illegal alien, somebody crossing an imaginary scratch in the fucking dirt that nobody can see whenever they supposedly scratch it, or, or cross it, rather. Over here, something. And I cross over here, maybe a little bit further. Oh, yep, yeah, there, there it is, I think. What is it here? It's kind of imaginary. So I can't really see it, but yeah. When I'm standing here, I'm okay. But about here, I guess. I don't know. I can't see it. But somewhere in here, I guess. Supposedly, I'm illegal. If I'm somewhere on this imaginary border. I, I, I'm just thinking that maybe, just maybe, before we're worried about whether or not there's an illegal alien, we should be worried about whether or not there's even such a thing as government. Because it's just a thought. But 
if there's no duty to protect, so then there's no such thing as a citizen. Is there then such a thing as government? I know the buildings are real. People are real. Their guns and their bullets are real. But is their so-called authority real? And how can they actually be the authority if we're supposed to be the boss? Can any one of us actually go to our so-called representative and tell them exactly how to vote for us? Just a thought. If that so-called lawmaker writes something down on a piece of paper, his opinion, and writes code across the top after he gets some majority of his peers to agree that his opinion is good and then they say now this applies to all of our bosses huh Wait a if, if I'm the boss How come, how come my employee is making rules for me and you if, the, if they're your employee too? And, and how is it that, wait a minute now, this is a little confusing because there's this thing that they, they call the use of force continuum. And this use of force continuum says that they get to assassinate me and you. If we don't follow their rules. But how is it that if I'm the boss and you're the boss, that they get to kill us if we don't get to, f if we don't follow their rules, that they won't take any orders from us to create in any way. Am I actually a citizen? If somebody is willing to kill me to enforce a contract? that they're not obligating themselves to, but yet they're going to kill me to obligate me to it? Do you, do you have a contract with somebody that's willing to kill you? And then no party, no less. Do you know any of the police in your local PD? Your local representatives? In your city council? Your mayor? Any of the county board anybody at the state level much less the so called federal level do, do you know any of these people do I have a contract with an employee that gets to change the terms and conditions on me so called the code statutes and regulations they they supposedly have somewhere roughly around 60 million at this point written down, their opinions written down somewhere. Do I have any contract with that entity, this unknown party that can kill me over some unknown terms and conditions, terms and conditions that they don't even know probably all collectively or whatever? Do you have a contract like that? Do I? 
is this a real contract in the real world sense? If I were to build you a nice little garden area, you, you call me up to build this nice little garden area for you. You, you, you want this type of material, I tell you how much it's going to cost, I tell you how long it's going to take, I take the first payment, and then I tell you, oh yeah, and from here on out, you're going to keep paying me in increments, but I'm not building you this fucking garden area. Not only am I not going to build this fucking garden area, but if you don't keep fucking paying me, I'm going to assassinate you. I'm going to put a fucking bullet in your head. I'm going to put you in the ground. And I'll keep taking money from your friends and family, too. But I'm never building you this fucking garden area. Would you enter into this contract? Would you obligate your children to this contract? I know I wouldn't enter into a contract with any of you for this kind of a contract where you're not going to build me my garden area and you're threatening me with death. And you're going to demand that I keep paying you? Until when? To what? Till I die? And you're just going to threaten me with my life? <laughs> wow. So let me let me get this straight. I, I'm supposed to be entering into this contract that I don't know the terms and conditions. There's supposed to be this duty of protection, but there's not. But yet, my life is absolutely on the line if I don't do with this other unknown party that's threatening my life says to do. Is that just me? Am I really that stupid that I, I'm, I'm not understanding the f complexities of this contract? Or is this contract just so obviously flawed? And I'm the only one seeing it. I'm pretty sure there's others out there that may be seeing this too. In fact, I know there are. I know there are. I spoke with some of these people. We do understand the basic concept of the word citizen. So when it comes down to whether or not there's actually this <laughs> thing called the illegal alien, I think it ought to be considered as to whether or not there's even government and or a so-called citizen before we start worrying about whether or not somebody's crossed an imaginary scratch in the dirt. Just a thought, folks. Have a good day.